Push it! Push it! Push it! Push it! Push it! Personal best! Scott, what do you make of it? Well, boss, it'll be your grandpa sneezing on a birthday cake when it's all done. No, I'm. I meant I was talking about the body. Oh, yeah. Looks like foul play to me. What can you tell me, Hayes? It looks as if he was killed before his body was dumped in the lake. According to the chart. I'd say his time of death was between Vintage Ribbon and Velvet Curtain. So about 9 p.m. last Sunday. Look, boss. Found some fishing line and looks like a couple of hooks in his back pocket. Well, it seems to me that the victim was tied up, tortured with the hooks, and then killed. Then the attacker untied him, gently placed the fishing line and hooks in the victim's pocket, then dumped him in the lake. Or he's just a fisherman. Not just any fisherman. Something tells me this guy worked at the bait and tackle shop. What tells you that? Your shirt. Hmm. Yep, that's my co-owner, Howard. He works at front desk here. Worked, I guess. That would make sense, because he's very dead now. So, what kind of shop are you running around here? Oh, it's just your typical bait and tackle shop. Over there we got bait. And over there we got, well, you get the idea. Mm, seems pretty standard to me. Do you know if Howard had any enemies? Some of them might want to hurt him. No, nope. Howard was pretty well liked around the shop. The guy knew how to bait a hook, that's for sure. Would you say he was a master? Oh, he was a master baiter for sure. An all around expert fisherman, best in the county. Come to think of it, he was going to fish in the big tournament this weekend. Really? Was there any kind of prize? Oh yeah. $10,000 cash for the winner. Our shop's actually sponsoring the event. $10,000 and the reputation of being the best fisherman in town? That could be motive. Mr. Bobbert? You, you said your store was sponsoring the event, is that right? You think we can get a list of the competitors? Okay. I got a list right over here. There you go. Oh. Sorry, it's a bit gooey. I wrapped it in a fish I got on a rare and exotic vacation. Hmm. Take a look at that. Huh. Thank you for your cooperation in this case. Uh, sure. Anything I can do to help. Can I use your bathroom? Oh, boss. This is a pretty big list. If only there were some kind of way to narrow it down. Have you tried scissors? What? I mean, you got all those borders, like, you can just cut it. Like, it doesn't need to be that big. No, I mean, how, how do we know which one of these guys knew our uh, victim? Oh. Um. Yo, what about his girlfriend? Uh, maybe she knows information about his personal connections. How do you know he had a girlfriend? His shirt. Did you not notice that? You gotta be keen to clues like that. Small details. That's what makes the detective.
sorry for your loss. I'm absolutely devastated. I love that man to death. So you did kill him? No, no, of course not. I loved him. But you're available now though, right? Excuse me? Um, like for the, for the case. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Miss Chovy. Please, call me Anne. Okay, Anne. Chovy. Um, we were hoping you could take a look at this list. See if any of the names look familiar. You know, I recognize this guy, Paul Trout. He and my Howie were good friends. Just two days ago, I came home and, and he was hugging him around the neck with his hands. After he left, Howie was so choked up about it, he could barely even speak. Hey, uh, boss? It's Hayes. He thinks he may have found something in the autopsy. Tell him we'll be back soon. Alright, Miss Chovy, we're gonna do our very best to figure out who did this to your Howard. Thank you. And, um, also, one more, one more question for the, for the case. Um, are you on Snapchat? Or... Tinder? Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, that is definitely infected. Oh, oof. I probably need to get this checked out. Ah, boss! Scott! Come in, come in. I think I may have found something you may find very interesting. That is interesting. So, have you learned anything about the case? Murder victim? Kay. The case! Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, it was as I predicted. The autopsy proves that the body was killed before being dumped in the lake. Looks like blood force trauma to me. Anything else? Yeah, actually there is. On the victim's face, there was some sort of gooey goo on the right side in the prominently bruised areas, so I managed to scrape some off. We're running some tests in the back right now, and I should know by the end of the hour. Perfect. Hayes, as soon as you figure out what that goo is, you call us, you let us know. In the meantime, how about you and me go talk to that Paul Trout guy the victim's girlfriend was talking about? Maybe he has some answers. Well, there he is. You ready, Scott? You thinking what I'm thinking? The old good cop, dad cop routine? That's the one. Let's do it. Let's get some answers. You recognize this guy? His name's Howard Pike. And from what I've been hearing, you two didn't get along very well. Yeah, so? We didn't get along. He was full of himself. Thought he was the best fisherman around. What's that got to do with me? You were seen strangling him two days before he was murdered. Look. If you confess now, maybe I can get the DA to cut you some sort of deal. I ain't saying nothing. Don't you speak to us in that tone. Look at me when I'm talking to you! Don't you roll your eyes at me. You've got to start taking responsibility for your actions. I want my lawyer. You just lost your lawyer privileges! Actually, can. Oh, wow. What am I supposed to do without my lawyer? I'm gonna give you to the count of three. You're gonna talk. One. Scott, take it easy. Two. Two and a half. Fine! Fine! I'll give you what you want to know. Just take it easy, man. Okay, where were you last Sunday then? I was home. Alone. That's the best alibi you got. Unfortunately, yeah, it is. I know I said I didn't like Howard, but 
I'd never kill him. Howard liked to say that he was the best. The truth is, he was getting rusty. I was gonna beat him at the tournament this weekend, you know, put him in his place, but now that he's dead. He'll never get a chance to prove it. Exactly. Well, so if you didn't kill him, then why were you seen strangling him on Saturday? He was uh, texting my online girlfriend. He got the same exact text. Coincidence? Oh, okay. Yeah, that adds up. That makes sense, actually. Look, I don't really have a lot to defend me, but <clears throat> I'm innocent. I swear. Hi, innocent. I'm dad. Uh, can I go now? Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're good to go. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. What was that? You let our only lead go? He couldn't have done it. What makes you so sure? Scott, did you see his fedora? Okay, that guy was way too big of a weenie to ever beat someone again. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Back to square one then, I guess. Ah, uh, not quite. Hayes, I may be able to help you, gentlemen. You see, the results for the mystery goo just came in. Well, it seems to be the slime from a Mediterranean Dover sole. It's a rare type of flatfish. A Dover sole? Pretty rare around here. That should narrow your search considerably. I'd say. Isn't that the same fish from the shop? Let's find out. Hayes, let me see that evidence. It is. I think we just found our killer. Let's crack this case wide open. Now let's go catch a killer. You ready, boss? Yeah. But just be careful. We don't know what we're dealing with in here, so get ready to draw your weapon just in case things go sideways. Don't worry. I already have. Wow. Okay, let's do this. Freeze, Bob Man. The gig is up. We know you killed Howard. What? Are you crazy? How was the co-owner in this place? Without him, I could barely run my shop. Your shop was dead long before Howard was. We know you're bankrupt, Bobber. I realized when I used your restroom earlier. You see, you stocked all the toilets with one ply toilet paper. Cheapness like that only comes with great desperation. Despicable. Yeah, my shop was finished, so what? Doesn't mean I kill anyone. Howard knew you were using the shop's money to go on fishing trips, not to mention huge cash prizes for local tournaments. He wanted to cancel the event, but you knew your shop couldn't take the bad publicity, so you refused. The two of you argued, things got heated, then you beat him to death with a fish, tossed his body in the lake. That was it. No. No, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. I didn't think anyone was going to figure it out. Looks like you're going away for a really long time, Rod. Wait, there's something you don't understand. There's lots of things I don't understand. Small dogs, the Pythagorean theorem, why my mom thought it was okay to date men younger than me after her divorce. Well, it seems like you've got a lot going on, actually. Take him away. Well, if you need to talk. Oh. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. It is recommended that you consult a doctor for an erection lasting more than four hours. Some assembly required. Batteries not included. Ask your parents before going. You know what, Scott? That was some good detective work. I'd say... Commissioner, Commissioner Ramsey! Ramsey! Hello, detectives. I just came to let you know what a great job you did on this case. Well, sir, we were just doing our jobs. Please, call me Daddy. Dad? Papa? That's right, sons. I've never been more proud of you both. It's all I ever wanted! <laughs> Bring it in here, kiddos. <laughs> Well, sons, let's go play some baseball. We got a lot of catching up to do. 
Just the two of us. We can make it if we try.